Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Russia sends air support to Libya. We are May 27, 2020. Uh, scripture reference is out of Ezekiel 38, 5. Persia, Ethiopia, and put with them, all of them with shield and helmet. So the focus is going to be on put. And these are Noah's grandchildren. They're the sons of Ham. And by and large, they settled in Africa. Historical put is a country that will join Russia, Turkey, and Iran, and others in their future invasion of Israel per the prophet Ezekiel. So what we're watching happen now in the 21st century, military ties continue to strengthen between these ancient uh, groups of people, relatives, and they are coming together as Ezekiel stated, roughly 2,600 years ago. So put or foot means a bow. And it's a nation of people of northern Africa, probably Libyans. That's per Strong's concordance. And most, most scholars and researchers agree that put or foot is modern-day Libya. So which brings us to May 2020. And what we have happening is Russia is moving fighter jets into Libya and it is believed uh, Russia is looking to support General Haftar and the Libyan National Army, or the LNA, Libya's government of national accord, GNA. These are the two rival factions. And the GNA has the support of the United Nations. And Turkey has moved troops into the arena of Libya to support the GNA. So you got the United Nations, the GNA, kind of on one side. And you have the Russians in support of the LNA. And, you know, a, a, this situation starting to look like Syria all over. And, and here's why they're going there. Libya is, the, is Africa's largest source of oil and natural gas. Libya is also the launch point of immigration into Europe from Africa. Um, and the immigration, human trafficking, is estimated to be a 6 to $7 billion with a B dollar per year business. So there's a lot of money made shipping people out of Africa into Europe. And, you know, if Putin gets control of this, this is yet another political chip he can use against Europe and pretty good chance he'll use it. Um, and the, the following is a press relief, press release from U S Africa command. Uh, and I quote, Russia deploys military fighter aircraft to Libya. And here's a quote from uh, General Stephen Townsend. He's a, a general for the United States Army. Uh, Russia is clearly trying to tip the scales in its favor in Libya, just like I saw them doing in Syria. They are expanding their military footprint in Africa using government-supported mercenary groups like Wagner. For too long, Russia has denied the full extent of its involvement in the ongoing Libyan conflict. Well, there's no denying it. Now we watched as Russia flew fourth generation jet fighters to Libya every step of the way. Neither the LNA nor private military companies can arm, operate, and sustain these fighters without state support, support they are getting from Russia. And again, that is General Stephen Townsend of the United States Army making that comment. Also, we get another comment. This is from uh, United States Air Force General Jeff Harrigan, and he is the commander of United States Air Forces in Europe slash Air Forces Africa. And he makes the following comment. If Russia seizes bases on Libya's coast, the next logical step is they deploy permanent long-range anti-access area denial capabilities. If that day comes, it will create very real security concerns on Europe's southern flank. Uh, and again, that's United States Air Force General Jeff Harrigan, commander, U.S. Air Forces in Europe and Air Forces Africa. And I picked this up off a live view of Map Middle East. And we got some reconnaissance pictures here. Uh, click on this link and you can see the pictures that United States reconnaissance has taken. And then also, if you want to read more detail, you can click on www.africom.mil, and it's a press release. Russia deploys military fighter 
aircraft to Libya. So what we'll do is we're going to go over here to uh, the map of Libya here in the green, red, and blue. Now the red, these are the areas occupied by Russia. In the blue, these are the groups uh, taken care of by the UN-sponsored group. So you can see Russia is slowly taking this over. Um, and what we're, what we're talking about is, um, aircraft, Russia, here's the air base right here, Latakia on the Mediterranean sea in Syria. So I'll back this out and you can see how Russia just, just North of here, there's Moscow. So they're bringing all their stuff down in through the Bosporus Straits and they've been parking stuff here on the Mediterranean. Well, um, it's not that far. And this is what gets real interesting. So, and this is from AFRICOM over multiple days in May, Russian MiG 29s and SU 24 fighters departed Russia. At that time, all the aircraft have Russian Federation air force markings. After they land at Kamemim air base in Syria, that's in Latakia, Syria, the MiG 29s are repainted and emerge with no national markings. So they fly these things down into Syria, paint them so they don't look like they're Russian. And then they fly them across the Mediterranean into Libya to the west. Now, this may, did make some headlines with our uh, national press. This The next story I'm going to talk about. And apparently yesterday we were flying a reconnaissance. The United States was flying a reconnaissance plane, you know, similar to like a Boeing 737. And then a couple of uh, Russian fighter jets, jets intercepted it. Everybody got a little excited about it, and everybody's talking about, oh, you know, the Russians are are intercepting United States aircraft, and we can't stand for that, and everybody's acting tough and posturing. Well, what's going on? All that did is run cover while the Russians are flying fighter jets over to Libya and strengthening their position. So, you know, our press is asleep at the wheel, not paying a lick of attention, realizing what's going on. Um and then we can also take a look at the the key, like here in the red, as it says, Russia, Hezbollah, Iran, Syria, and Lebanon. Well, that's pretty much the, uh, the prophecy of groups of people that Ezekiel talks about. Everybody's there together, with the exception of Turkey. And Turkey is, is aligned with the group of the GNA, uh, the Government of National Accord. And the United Nations su supports them. So, you know, it makes me wonder at some point, this is thinking out loud and speculation, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, something's going to have to sway Turkey at some point to join up with Russia and have a more solid commitment. Now, they give lip service to each other, and they've got some military deals, and they've got some economic deals that haven't existed before. But Erdogan and Turkey really he's not he's not all bought in yet on Putin which which makes me think something's either going to happen to Erdogan and then they have a you know a leadership vacuum Putin steps in and gets some puppet in there that he wants that he can control or whoever gets elected falls in in line with Putin or uh, you know Russia and Turkey are going to scrape and my guess is Russia is going to thump them pretty good or put them in a pretty awkward spot and they'll understand what force is and join, join hands with Russia. But that has yet to happen. Uh, and it may not, I mean, it doesn't have to, but it kind of stands to reason, you know, for this group to all get together of one accord and one mind, um, going to need, going to need Turkey to fall in line with what Putin wants. And I know down here on the, on the, the Red Sea, um, Turkey has some stuff down in Sudan. So they've, they've got that piece of the, the prophecy. And, and Russia hasn't really moved that far south. But, I mean, they are all loosely aligned. I think there needs to be a little bit more confirmation with this group of countries. And I also just frankly think there needs to be more military hardware in Syria for this to happen. Um, but Russia is definitely asserting itself in the region. In every place the United States was, Russia is stepping in and prophecy is falling into line. So give you a little bit of an idea of just the lay of the land 
and it's not that far. I mean, we're talking 300 miles across the Mediterranean to, uh, to, to Italy from Libya. And that's where most of these immigrants gather. Uh, Tunisia would be really close, but everybody wants to go through Libya. Everybody wants to go through Libya because of oil and gas. That's what's driving all of this stuff. So keep an eye on it. These groups of people continue to build, continue to strengthen militarily, politically, economically, just like it was said 2,600 years ago. Appreciate you guys following along. Uh, if you are interested, uh, type your email address in here and the gray box is not there again today. So who knows where that's at? Uh, but you type in your email, be sure to send you something every time something goes out and please feel free to share with others. Paul, This will be categorized far right hand column. You want to go back. We got stuff going back. Oh, a good six to 10 years on Ezekiel 38, 39. We've been watching these dominoes fall into place or getting lined up so they can fall. And, uh, other key SEO words would include, uh, general Khalifa Haftar. He's the guy the Russians are supporting Libyan national army, the LNA, Russia, U S Africa command or U S Africom. So appreciate y'all following. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.